What up my freaks, Ruinous Insight here with part 10 of my Total War Three Kingdoms Liu Bei Romance Campaign. So as we saw last time, the way of peace has been way too peaceful. And so I went ahead and did all the boring stuff for a couple, two or three turns. As we are now able to declare war on the Han Empire, at least I believe so. Now, what that means is as soon as we do, Dong Min is going to get very, very upset because uh, the Han Empire is his vassal, and he will probably send Lu Bu down to uh, teach us the error of our ways. Unfortunately, that's something we want, so uh, let's get to it. You, Han Empire, time for us to fight. Issue declaration of war. Uh, wait. Why? No. Damn, I guess it's one more turn. Okay, fine. I'll do it next turn. I'll do it next turn. Uh, I was so happy for a second. Okay, you know what? Instead, we will then go ahead and pop one of these missions. Faction Council. You. No Council. What is this going to do? Assign a character to Grand Com Commandant. Satisfaction for you. Support from Peasantry. Satisfaction for Champions. Growth. Okie dokes. I can do that. I can appoint a Grand Commandant. But do I want to waste the money right now? That's the real question. I mean, I understand recruitment costs faction wide. I wish I had done that earlier. That's all it gives you? Oh, it's kind of, uh, kind of weak, man. I mean, he does desire high core position. You know what? Fine. Guan Yu, there you go. Mission complete. We have ourselves a Grand Commandant. Oh, I thank you. Now, when can we invoke the council again? Is it every how many turns? I kind of wish I had done that one earlier because it was so easy. Invoke council, five turns, of course. All right, well, let's end the turn. And then declare war on the Han Empire. Battle is not always what the hell do you the want? Answer. You want food and come four mil- What? No. Object. Crazy, crazy man. No matter. What are you talking about, Guan Shu? Yellow Turban Rebellion is still alive. I wonder where they are. I could, uh, I could see myself attacking them for no reason. Let's see, y'all fighting, y'all still fighting, everybody- Ah, oh, damn it, a thing happened. <sighs> what thing happened? A rare talent. Character recruited, estimated salary. Cool. Uh, ranks gained, spy, spy events. Ours are spies attempt to infiltrate a faction. They traveled the land scouting and building our undercover network. We have received their latest report attempting to infiltrate Dong Min. Cool. Good job, buddy. You attempt. You attempt as best you can. What do we get? Ancillaries gained. A free eavesdropper. Plus five cover cost for spies. Not really useful. We could always trade it to somebody. Uh, what do we got over here? Character developments. No real care buildings. Not particularly important. But we did level up a couple characters, so let's get them going. You are an administrator, so you should get administrator stuff. Plus 40 income from a bunch of stuff. Versus uh, money. Or versus uh, archery. I don't think I need that, so we're going to go with this. And, oh, Liu Bei leveled up, nice. So, here's the question. We want this and this, meaning we want to go 8 to 9 to... Oh, we can only get this or this, meaning nature's ally, which is nice. Speed for... Oh, but is it... Oh, it's for everybody, it's a buff. Versus inspiring words. Oh, damn, that's a nice buff. Plus 33% melee attack rate. Give that to Guan Yu and watch him just absolutely wreck face. That's wonderful. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. I definitely want that thing. Oh, and this will allow us to ignore forest penalties anyway. It's not a buff like Nature's Ally. I really wish I hadn't gotten uh, one of these things. That was a shame. I that was before I had realized that uh, <sighs> that Leo Bay or that all characters rather have only a ten a level ten max. I thought you could max it out. But hey, what can you do? Oh wow, you can get Giant Sword Guard Cavalry, but I don't see why you can't get it yet. I guess you're not level up enough? I guess you need level 10 or something? I mean, nice. Alright, we'll get this. As we move towards this and this. Plus 40% melee attack rate is fine. I mean, that's something, that's not something to sneeze at, Make I think. Quick. Ew, Hot Empire. War. Issue declaration. When talk is exhausted. Cool. And Dong Min's gonna be like, hey, 
What's wrong with you? Why'd you do that? I mean, technically, I didn't declare war on Dongmen. He kind of just followed suit because he loves the uh, crumbling Han. But all right, you were an ambush all along, and you get a free toolmaker. Let us attack. I mean, we could have wasted our stuff and just annexed all this stuff. Uh, wow, there's no need to fight this at all, is there? Delegate, please. Let us start expanding territory. Our faith was rewarded. How did you manage to lose 64 men? They had nothing. Only by growth will the word be spread. There we go. Only by growth will the word be spread? It looks like only by conquest. Now, oh, what the hell? You, you own one of these areas. I'm gonna have to kill you. I'm gonna have to kill you and take your, uh, and take your stuff. <sighs> Alright, we can upgrade this immediately. I think we have the money. We have plenty of money. You just gotta keep a careful eye on all this stuff. You. More income from all sources, please. I think... Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Let's take a look at Taishan here because they are getting more stuff. You. Yes, I think... I want more income from Taishan before anything else because it is our money-making province, so let's go there. And you, Guangling, you cannot build anything anymore. All right, that's, that's fine. We are out of money for this turn, but we are not out of movement points. Attack. And look, you have a general over here. Isn't that cute? Uh, yeah, yes, delegate this, however. I don't think there's any need to fight this. Plus, I did upgrade this army a little bit over time. Oh, wow, you lost a lot more men than I thought you would. Uh, we really need Zhang Fei to level up because his units are kind of weak and it's kind of irritating. We must lay foundations if we are to rebuild. All right. Well, you should recover in two turns. So that's all right. We got another livestock farm over here that should up our food income. Just got to keep an eye on the public order. Nothing else to be done here. We can't upgrade this immediately yet. We do need to go for a young Jew over here. And oh look, oh here's the yellow turban rebellion. Oh and look more of these guys over here. Now who the hell are you? You're Lady Wu. Oh you're the one we're trading with. You're over here. Hey Lady Wu. A Be a good lady sight. and confederate with me. Or vassalize. Minus 63. Okay, I guess you know likey. How about military axes? Also no likey. You're trading with us and you have a non-aggression pack, but you don't like us? Because we're a strategic threat? Come on. Don't be like that. Mar Mar Mary Lou Bay. Uh, form coalition. Form oh, we can actually pay her to get this. But do I want a coalition with her? She's an opportunist. How does everybody feel about this girl? Uh, you want... No, no, no. I want to know how you feel about a Lady Wu. How do you feel about Lady Wu? Eh, you're okay with her. Kong Rong, what about you? You're also okay with her. What about Dong Min? Dong Min, buddy. I hate you, so I need to know how you feel. Oh, you don't like her. In fact, you're fighting her. Huh. That's interesting. That is interesting. She is down here in the south. It would be nice to have an ally so that we don't have to fight on this front. Hmm. Form coalition. Now, if I give you some of our more useless ancillaries, like, oh, we should really give these armors to somebody. <laughs> Um, ooh, wow, it's a nice horsey. I, I ain't giving you that, hon. Uh, let's give you this eavesdropper. Oh, that's nice. Okay, this is very nice. What do we got over here? Ah, yes, let's see. I could give you one of these clay rats. Great. Hmm. Now, she is at war with Liu Yao and pretty much the same people we are at war with, except... Liu Yao. Oh, she's at war with Liu Yao over here. Huh. That means Liu Yao will hate us, but it does give us the option of kind of invading him. We're not. Oh, but we're trading with him. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, that's a shame. See, now, if we weren't trading with him, we could just kill him. 
Man, all right, I gotta think about this Lady Wu thing. I don't like how she's attacking Liu Yao. I was I was wanting to uh, vassalize him or something as soon as our relationship went up a little bit more. All right, that was a waste of time. That was a waste of everybody's time. Plus, he has two armies over here. Um, yeah, I guess next turn we can attack this uh, city. Oh, what? Fun, you. Yeah. You got hurt attacking that. I shouldn't have delegated. Yeah, whatever. And nothing to build, nothing to do. You're good, everybody's good. You need some more spears or some cab in here, but whatever. It's a defensive army. All right, now Dongmin is probably coming for us. See see how long it's taken this turn? Where's Lu Bu? Oh, is that our spy? Is that our spy? Did he actually hire our spy? Uh, no, they both hate each other, reject. What the hell are you? Jan, I don't know who you are or where you're from. I don't see why I'd care. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, what do we got over here? Modest versus vain beauty, a counselor declares startling you, is a more surface. It is within. A fair ruler, another intercedes entirely without your consent, should be spiritually and physically beautiful. You, I see, will be neither, says the first. <laughs> the two argue, and you frown. Now, relationship could deepen between Liu Bei and Dan Gong. Relationship could deepen between Liu Bei and Hang Hong Ji. I don't know who these people are. Wait, Liu Bei isn't modest? That's weird. I mean, he's definitely not vain. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, I have to go with modesty. Liu Bei is modest, not vain. Whoever Dan Gong is. I hope that, uh... This guy doesn't get pissed off about it. I guess we'll find out, Odyssey. Oneness grows closer. He is a modest, modest man. Now, you. You just settled up. You're an admin. Uh, we'll get you this, because it upgrades your administered area. Like, what else could we get that's good? Ooh, Tenacity of Steel. Oh, damn, plus 100% melee damage? That's an insane buff. You I like. Uh, but, uh, since you're an administrator, slash clerk, you're gonna get this whole income from com- Income from commerce? Whoa, 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 you're... Hi, Shan. Is that the commerce area? Oh my god, that's a lot. Yeah, Taishan is the commerce area. That's perfect. Okay, that uh, that worked out real swell. All right, now we d Taishan is falling in consumption due to food distribution, but we have plenty of food to uh, deal with it. Our public order is okay. We do need to upgrade some stuff, though. You actually, I don't need to upgrade you, at least not yet. Now you, yeah, let's get some more prestige op over here. Guangling. We get another upgrade to our trade port. Coastal Trading Village, cute. Versus we can convert this tea parlor to something that actually works. Oh, we can actually upgrade it to tea house. So we're trading with somebody that's giving us tea. So this is working. Yeah, it's fine, let's upgrade that. Oh my god, six turns? How long will this take? Six turns, and this will take five. That'll give us more money. 170 income. 6% versus 40 Okay, yeah, this is good. We'll get this. We'll get this tea parlor, or tea house, rather. I like me some tea. Not gonna not gonna judge you for doing that. Now you. Oh, you can move into here. Immediately. And you can follow along. Alright. Let's grab it. Attack, please. What do you got here? Oh, you cannot attack immediately. But you can build yourself a nice ram. And you can undermine it. Continue siege. To battle. And then we can go for the yellow turbans over here. I don't know what's down here. Unknown. Oh, no, Han Empire. So we can get these nice territories over here. Now I don't like how Yong Tong Yuroi is in our way. And we may have to declare war on her. I don't want to fight too much. I'm kind of liking this whole let's build up a little bit before everybody gets angry and declares war on us. So, I want to keep doing that. 
But other than that, there's nothing to do. Let's end the turn. I am waiting for the next reform. Aha, here you are. Here you are, Dongmin, buddy. Ooh, oh, wow, you have a lot of armies, and it seems like you're marching towards us. I see how it is. I see your mo armies moving on down there. We could actually sail over here, but this guy has so many armies in his own territory. Uh, yeah, you guys are all fighting, y'all fighting, y'all fighting, yeah, okay, enough of that. Now this, attacker, the siege progresses. We could call reinforcements and get war fervor. Ah, oh, we don't need the snow cover, we're fine. We're fine, we did not need aid. That is cowardice, oh, hello. Possible. I didn't even know that uh, Han Empire could actually be, no. well, not aggressive, but it could actually do anything. He has some units, but is that enough to take anything? Yeah, no, I don't think so. I do not think so. And speaking of reforms... Now, what did we want here? Upkeep cost for new... I don't really care about that much. Uh... What did I think about going for before? Character experience. Oh, trade influence. Plus 50% trade. Okay, yeah, that's nice. Let's grab these. Let's up our trade influence. Maybe we can keep Yuan Chao happy, and then eventually maybe he will uh, invite us into his pretty little alliance. Because uh, that trade influence seems like it's going pretty swell. While you... I am tempted to go after this guy, but I think if we march you on up right here... Virtue begets justice. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab you two. You're going to take this together. Maybe take this large town together. Then you guys will separate. You are going to go down south, grab up all these uh, hot empire territories. While you, Liu Bei, you are going to start moving north. Uh, Lu Bu or somebody in the service of Dongmin is sure to sail down the Yellow River and go for our capital because it is quite open. Granted, it is defended, but I'm pretty sure Lu Bu can murder everybody in this army all on his own. He is a frightening, frightening man. Other than that, let's see. Do we have anything that needs to be upgraded stat? We could get this for more food production, and I don't see why we shouldn't. Now, we could get more money here. The thing is, which province is 1378? Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to get more money in the... Uh, in the two commanderies that are making tons of money. We are gonna, I'm gonna go with food for now, but I will think about this. We can always convert the building later. Now you Dong Hai, you can get, I mean, you're making okay amounts of money. Is it worth it to lose four food to get you another building? That's the real question here. Where is Dong Hai? I mean, it is one of our three administered commanderies. I suppose we can upgrade it. And that'll be all our money for this turn. Resources. Not owned. We don't own silk or spice. I do wonder where silk and spice are on the map. What do you have? You have a lumber yard. I don't, I don't see no silk and I don't see no spice. Oh, we got a salt mine over here. Oh, wait. I remember that. <laughs> I said the exact same thing when I saw it last time. You. Take, please. Take this for free. Medium casual. Why would we suffer medium casualty? <sighs> really? Really? I This is a pointless fight, that's the thing. Uh, I, I want to fight, but what is the point of this? You know what? I think I'm going to fight it just because we can fight. But the thing is, we could just send the uh, the heroes in there and they'll just do all the work. Ah, man! How long until these guys starve? Oh, you know what? Just you know what? Just just, just, just just continue the siege for a few turns while you. You know what? You can march down here. Let's see if they have an army over here. Maybe we can take several places. I want. Nope. You have an army and a garrison, but I be and I believe you have. Do you not have walls? No, it's just a town. All right. You have a garrison, but. I think this one will fight. This has an actual garrison that I will fight. In fact, I'm probably going to try to fight this that this episode because it's been a little boring around these parts. 
Nothing other than that. Let's do it. End of turn. A long turn from Dong Min again. He coming down? Nope. Oh, maybe he is. Yeah, he's slowly heading. Ah, are you heading towards the river, my friend? Are you heading towards the suspicious river? The super highway through which you will attack us. Non-aggression non pact with Tong Yirui. The chick that's like right in the middle of our territory, huh? I don't like that. How about instead? Oh, you're somebody's vassal? Who's vassal? Oh, you're one Xiao's vassal. Okay, fine. Consent if you're Wan Chao's vassal, I'm not messing with him. He's very powerful. Alright. Alright, it looks like our... Public Order just took a nasty turn. Now, the reason for that is one of the buffs ran out, so we're gonna have to put the uh, taxes back down. And minus one, yeah, okay, that's good. That is nice. Now we are making a little bit less money. Um, this commandery, Long Yi, uh, it's not worth it to upgrade it. It's not worth it as long as Kong Rong remains. I, if he does declare war on us, he will take several cities at once. That's kind of what worries me. Uh, maybe I will bring you all the way over here. Because I'm a little bit paranoid of, uh, of this fella. He did turn off that agreement of the non-aggression pact that we had. And I know Lucky. Oh, looks like the Yellow Turban Rebellion decided to run away. Ah, uh, you are almost out of... ...military supplies, huh? Alright, well, you're gonna come back here, and next turn, I believe, he will start suffering attrition. Ah, uh, no. For China! Medium, medium. Yeah, okay, he's gonna be suffering attrition next turn. Alright, next turn we will finish this off. For the people! Grab this small city without a fight and then proceed here. I do want to fight that garrison. Actually, get a freaking fight going because this is interminable. I'm almost tempted to just declare war on. Uh, <laughs> on Yuan Shao and his 8 billion vassals and just fight everybody. I'm hoping Dong Min actually comes down. If he does not, maybe we'll build a fourth army and sail Liu Bei along with said fourth army down the river and start attacking Dong Min where he lives. The annoying thing is, I guarantee what I guarantee will absolutely happen is we if we will destroy... What do you want? No. Um, if we destroy... Dong Min's armies by going up there, he's gonna get confederated by Yuan Shao. Uh, oh yes, he's sailing down the river, finally. Come down here. Come down here and fight us. I am tremendously bored. What is this? What is this? You're attacking us. You're psychotic, we don't need to fight this delegate. Alright, you guys almost died, we lost. 419 men for that. All right, well, ransom and release. They fought only for their beliefs. Yes. Oh, I should have thought that we would have suffered no casualties and they would have all died. Granted, I'm stupid, but uh, yeah. All right. Well, this should be a free take now. Attack! Predicted casualties medium. Game. Okay. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna just quickly fight this. I don't want this stuff. <sighs> medium casualty. The medium casualties means like half our army. Fine, I'm just gonna send the heroes in, max speed through it, and destroy everything. This is more than our struggle. It is China's. Is it? Now, China watches. Fight in her name. Okay, I mean rousing speech, man. Very rousing, but uh, I'm pretty sure China doesn't watch you take this like. Single crumbling hot empire territory. Ooh, wow, this is a nice city. That's real pretty. Where are their broken walls? They're right here. Are there broken walls on this side? Ooh, there's a moat on this side. That's lovely. That is absolutely lovely. Alright, so I'm gonna take all of you. I'm gonna put you all right here. They can't reach. Oh my god, you know what I just realized? 
I just realized that they have one of them artillery pieces. I assume it's going to go right here. That means we... Oh, man. Can they put an artillery piece here? No, they cannot. You know what? I'm going to put this entire army right here. And move it back right here. Start battle. Where'd that artillery piece? That's yeah, right here. Have arrived. That's fine. Reinforcements are coming. Heroes, y'all gonna just destroy everybody on your own. Yeah, you, 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 and... Where's the most important buddy? I mean, you can come along as well, so... One, two... Actually, no, you're hurt. You're hurt. You, 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 you. There we go. Together, please. I wish you could see the range on this trebuchet. Alright, and speed it up to max. We're just gonna rush through that wall and just have our heroes kill everybody. That's the plan, and I'm sticking to it. At least we can see them have a little bit of fun. Actually, wait. Walk until walk until you start being fired upon. Oh, there we go. There you are. Now you're being fired upon. Now you run. Our comrade is under attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. That actually hurt quite a bit. Ow. What the... You need to stop that. That's very rude. Our brother is under attack to them. Yeah. All right, there we go. Oh, go back to walking, I think. There we go. Oh, look at these two guys. They're going along. Oh, Zhang Fei. Why are you always such a disappointment, man? <laughs> it's kind of incredible. Every single time. Every time something bad happens, you look and it's Zhang Fei. All right, let's slow down. I do want to see them wreck some face. Show them justice. Yeah, show them justice, man. Show them all the justice. Oh, look at this one guy, running away. Running all on his own some. Stand ready. You know what? Attention. Go for these archers. <laughs> Go for these poor archers. Let's speed it up, not to max, but a little bit. Yes, go. Go. Fight together, boys. Hey, 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 archers, you come back here. You come back here and die. Die like men. Ah, oh, man. Speaking of dying like men... Look, the enemy run. Uh, the blood pack is coming. So close. There's Cannot wait to have some blood in this game. Maybe this... Stuff like this would become a lot more entertaining. Alright, these guys should all route while they're killed by the heroes, and then we can just go into the center and cap it. I guess we'll have to grab these... Oh, cool. What is this? Some kind of crazy building gate type deal. Alright, alright. Let's move... Let's use our, some of our abilities. Stay down. What ability do you have, by the way? Oh, you have hamstring. That's nice. I like hamstring. It's a good ability. It slows the enemy down. Alright, alright. Just use it. Oh, you can't use it. Look! Okay, yeah, those guys are running. Shredder. These guys should be running. Let's... Oh, look, more enemies. You know what? Let's use some more abilities. You do not use your ability. You do not need to use your ability. Use it and use it. There we go. Kill all these guys, please. Frankly, you can dismount and just start killing them. There we go. I mean, I'm hopeful. I'm hoping that this actually gives the heroes experience, while our army doesn't take a single casualty. I think this is kind of what's cheap about romance mode: the fact that you can actually do this. Oh man. But hey, it's part of the mode. It's not like you can't do this with Tyrion in uh, in Total Warhammer. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Okay, fine, just walk, walk. Are you exhausted already? Winded up. Just walk. All right, let's speed it up to max while these guys walk their sad little selves over here. Since they're winded. Are you still winded or are you fresh? Oh, you're eager now. Oh, no, you're still winded. Fine, go here. 
Don't die to the towers. Cap these towers. You two cap these towers. There you go. Towers capped. Towers capped. Charge the enemy. We are taking the city. Yes, we are. Victory awaits. I sure hope so. Take it. And the city is about to fall. Oh, All of their will the surely run. panic now. Ha, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what a battle. Uh, what a freaking non-battle. Claim the victory. <laughs> Uh, what a pretty city that could have been defended. I mean, I'm not gonna pointlessly lose this army. That's the thing. We're gonna need it to fight, uh... To fight Dong Min, since we declared war on him. Justice cannot be denied. Yes. For you are justice, my friend. Only by growth there we go, Yangju. Nice city. Oh, it's got military infrastructure. Cool. Uh... I mean, I guess we'll repair it for now, and then I'll think about what I want to do with all this stuff in here. We have a tool maker, so that means we maybe could go for some industry in this area at least. Now, I wonder what this guy's gonna do. I wonder if he's gonna go for this tool maker. Oh, no, he might actually be able to win that. That's funny. Uh, yeah, you kill him. You kill him. I wonder if he can run. Oh, for the love of. Well, that's annoying. Uh, definitely repair that. And we have plenty of money once again. Let's take a quick look at our buildings. Uh, oh, right. This is this area. I don't want to upgrade the Toolmaker because I feel like this guy might take it, but I will upgrade this livestock farm because it only takes three turns. Where is it, by the way? Ah, it's over here. Uh, you. You can upgrade the city. You're not making enough money to be worth it. Yeah, you're not making enough money as well. And you guys don't need upgrades. Man, what do we do with all our money? What do we do with all of it? And three turns until next reform, and then we'll get more trade influence. I wonder if there's any other trade influence things. What do we got here? Spy, spy, spy. Boring. Yeah, then I guess we'll go for either commerce or this stuff after. Plus 25% food production is nice. Food from fishing is nice. Yeah. I'm sure we can unlock some of these buildings. Maybe work towards some of these uh, nice upgrades. Food from farming, income from peasantry. I'll certainly take a look. I'm also tempted to go for this public order bu building at least at first. Because that would give us uh, more leeway to put tax on max. Max tax. And let's see, I mean, we are once again out of time, so I suppose I'm gonna end it here. At least there was something of a battle, disappointing though it was, but that is the nature of this game sometimes. Sometimes nothing happens. So as always, I do appreciate any and all feedback with regards to the gameplay or the way I do things on this channel. If you have a second, please do take it to leave a like and or a comment to support the channel. It really, really does help. As always, thanks for watching.